Okay, I like that one. Hello. How can I help sure you? I got some snacks here. I think I did. I think I just got them. I'm gonna double check, make sure. I'll take care of the food. You take care of the company. When you finish what you've got, I'll give you some more. Okay. Are you sure so you need more we're snacks? In invite only. Got some snacks. Let's go make a black bike. What's up, everybody? Beast Netico here. And uh, I made a video a couple of days ago, and I guess I cut out a part where you put the Black Western Sovereign in the workshop. So I guess a lot of people didn't understand. I just kind of automatically thought that people would know to put the Black Western Sovereign or put a Western Sovereign in the, in the workshop. But I guess not. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it through from beginning to end, starting with we are in the invite only lobby. All right. And we just got some snacks loaded up. We're going to need those things. So here's our bike. And there was a question or two that I got from a couple people in the comment section. And by the way, sorry if I don't get a chance to answer your comment sections. Man, it's weird how YouTube works, but sometimes I don't even see them shits for like a couple of days. So, um, but anyways, I, I had a couple questions about how do people get the regular Western stuff, and I'm not really sure. Uh, some people seem to have it. I think it it's only available to those who came from like the PS3. That's a possibility. But um, if you don't have it in your San Andr San Andreas uh, store or whatever, the not the legendary one, but the the regular one where all the lower amount cars are but if it's not in there then um, the best thing to do is get a do a gift card from friends from somebody that has it and um, if you don't know anyone that have it then just hit me up first you got to be a subscriber because I don't do nothing for anybody that's not a subscriber it's just too much stuff to do so um, you know be a subscriber and then hit me up at Beast Nanny Co on PS4 capital B E a S T all capitals underscore capital N Nanny code real simple. So uh, let's go ahead and throw this joker in the workshop. Just get it started. Now I haven't checked to see if this still works, so hopefully everything still works. Just for the record, this ugly ass uh, VST, we're gonna make it pretty after we uh, hook up this black, or after we hook up this Western Sovereign. Okay, so here's the deal, man. You're gonna need a couple of things for this. You're gonna need a card that's already uh, have pure black on it, a pure black cure, uh, crew color. So if you don't have that, then Join the, join the mob, hit your crew color, change the car black, and uh, then that's going to be the car that you're going to merge off. So this is how we're going to do this today. We're going to do the car to car merge here in the uh, arena workshop. So you'll need that too. All right. And in this case, we're going to use this car right here. It's got a worn black on it, but this is uh, one of the worns that I made. So under it is a pure black and that's what's going to transfer over. Also, if you look right here, it's got green tints. So whatever color that your windows are, whether it's green tints or if you got like limo smoke or whatever, that that's how you transfer that over to the windshield. So if you want to make those changes onto your car before you merge, that's how you do that. Okay. Also with crew smoke uh, under the wheel section that's in their tire smoke, you set your crew smoke to um, um, to pure black when it's you know when you set the crew smoke and you have the especially with the mob and it's a pure black paint job anytime you got a pure black as your crew color then your tire smoke automatically go to Patriot smoke 
so that's how you get all that so you want to have all that stuff on your car before then now let's go ahead and start let's get into uh, glitching out here for this we're going to use a Faggio which you'll need and some snacks which you saw me get earlier so you're going to need them what's things what's it going to be so what's up damn my helmet came off that's crazy all right exit Just pull our snacks out i'm going to get lined up about right here so all our snacks go about right there so let's do that generally we're going to drop about four or five of these p's and q's then four or five of the e colas and then about four or five of the piss wasers and that'll be enough to start pushing your bike over and so we can knock it down so that's our goal Drink faster, you fat bastard. Drink faster. And that should do it right there. All right, so now we're going to take our smokes and we're going to push while we're smoking. For some reason, that helps them push a little easier. And we're going to knock this bike over. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, a little more, a little more. here I should have put them more closer to the tire so next time maybe a little more closer to the back tire see I think that's where I made my mistake at so well we're, I think we can still get it knocked over somehow Let's just drop some more over. Yeah, there are other methods, but I just like this one a little more. But you can use like uh, there's other methods where like you can use the the um, the scuba gear. Now, yeah, that's the bad side to this part is, okay, so now we've got to push over here and we're going to need to get this right on the first time. Otherwise, we're going to have to leave and get more snacks. So, it's not perfect, 
but it, overall it's uh, my personal favorite still. So what we want to do is we want to line these tires up about right here, right in this area here. Gotta be careful because if you go too far over, then you're gonna need to start over because then, dudes, it's, uh, you're not gonna be able to push it. So, so we'll get this right on the first try. All right, let's try that. Okay, you see we got two options there. The goal is to make it one option. We just want to have it so it says modify the storage or return to storage, I'm sorry. There we go. That's what we want. Right there. So now after we got that, get off. And we're gonna go get a car. And we're gonna modify it. What can I do? What Hopefully are we, we can doing knock that then? bike back over far enough into the white area. And then that's gonna and that's how we're gonna get glitched off. Get glitched out. Maybe we should probably push it a little more. Duh. I'm tripping, y'all. Inventory is where I needed to go. Snacks, we'll get some smokes here. And just kind of push. Okay, that's cool, that worked anyways, we had enough. So, we're gonna return this bike here. Good, we don't need this anymore. Okay, have fun. What's it going to Get off the bike. And we're gonna go in with our Western Sovereign. Modify. What's up? What can I do? <laughs> All right. And get off the bike. So now the next step is to get into our car that we're going to take the paint off of. Modify. You what don't have to do anything. You just have to get to this to screen right here. So you don't have to spend forty-five, or I'm sorry, you don't have to spend ninety-five dollars or anything like that. Just get, just get in the car, and then exit the vehicle. Okay, and we're gonna get back on the bike. from here we're going to hold down our options button and we're going to as soon as we release it we're going to press left on the d-pad okay so we're going to hold it down hold down your options button and then immediately just as you let go that options button you want to press down on the left d-pad button so it will probably take us a couple times but don't worry just keep going there. yep okay hold Release of head. There we go. 
okay so now you got this you got this ugly screen up press circle to get rid of it your dude's gonna go into a running animation as soon as he stops well you don't have to do it as soon as he stops but you want to get into first person view press the L3 and R3 when he stops and see an animation there and then that's when you go ahead and go back into regular view and you're good the bike's gone yes and we're gonna go over here and we should have a bona fide black Western Sovereign and we do but it's not over yet so from here what you want to do is you want to get on the bike now see this is crazy because it looks like it's actually a worn worn black but that's the the that's going to disappear but it is going to keep the black tin on it for us or, i mean it's going to keep the black paint just not the worn texture so we're going to go back so, modify what's up? make what a couple of changes get it the way you want it and then you also want to make sure that you uh, change your uh, plates before you leave. So, let's see, let's, we'll just change headlight colors. That'll be good. Looking cool. Give it the yellow ones. And then you definitely want to change your plate. So if you got Yankton's on here, just uh, just choose the the custom plate. Don't you know? Because if you choose, obviously, if you choose a background, then it's, you're going to lose your plate. So okay, always keep that in mind. For those that don't know. So we change nice. that so this bike is legit it's clean and we're gonna exit the workshop okay, later. so if you don't have custom plates or anything like that don't worry you can also take this bike out and put it in the moc and store it that away too so as you see bike is good this is what we got and this is how you do it so I hope this video helps and I hope it's thorough enough for everybody to understand, you know. So uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for watching, man, and I'm out.